Hi, I'm Eric Lenask in New York City at Cloud Expo. I'm talking with Coal Fire's Nick Sun. Nick, thanks for joining me this morning. Absolutely. Thanks for having us. Get started off maybe by telling me a little bit about who Coal Fire is. Coal Fire is an IT assurance consulting firm um, based out in Denver, Colorado. Uh, we started about 12 years ago, and we have been in quite a bit of trajectory of growth in the past few, uh, past few months. And we have... Um, it provides a lot of different services across federal markets, commercial markets, and a lot of providers. Uh, we focus on PCI, and we have a strong focus in federal market. So, Nick, for anybody who's been following the cloud services space, there's certainly been an uptick in federal agency utilization of the cloud. Why is that? Well, the federal agency has been a very um, a desperate organization running lots of different IT services by lots of different agencies. And as you know, uh, the funding and the budget is a big constraint and con big concern in the federal market. And as part of the cloud first strategy, um, there's a big initiative to consolidate uh, common systems to get most out of taxpayer dollars. Right? And as part of that, um, the government cloud providers are required to pass a security program called FedRAMP which allows uh, evaluation of cloud services and put that into the federal government market for purchasing. Um, again, to gain most optimal use of every federal dollar um, that's budgeted and allocated. What can you tell me about that FedRAMP process? FedRAMP process is a very high bar for a lot of cloud providers to jump over. And it's a costly process, it's a lengthy process. Um, there's a two parts to that. One is for cloud providers to prove that they have effective security processes in place, but as part of that assurance, they are required to pass an audit uh, performed by a third-party independent auditor, Coal is one of those auditors, uh, to verify and validate that the security processes and operations that are implemented are operating effectively. So as an auditor and, and as a consultant in the space, would you, do you feel confident saying that, that cloud service providers that have made it through the FedRAMP process uh, have the appropriate security and, and, user, and customers shouldn't feel, uh, have any concern over those security measures? Right. So, as I mentioned, it's a very, very tough bar for cloud service to jump over. So the, the program run by Matt Goodrich, the FedRAMP PMO, is a rigorous process, and I think they do a great job in overseeing and managing the process. Um, it includes a review by GSA, Department of Defense, and DHS. And once they pass that hurdle, I believe they are is a, I believe they are implementing a very rigorous process so that the systems can be verified that it's operating securely. Aside from the, uh, the potential revenue, are, are there broader, bigger benefits to uh, being part of the FedRAMP uh, process? Absolutely. There are obviously big players in the federal market, such as Amazon, IBM software, but then there are also small players. And one thing that we've seen recently is that there's been some M&A acquisition process where FedRAMP stamp of approval has provided value in these companies um, in that M&A process. A uh, good example is VirtuStream, uh, who was acquired by EMC. Um, they received their authorization just a couple of days ago. Uh, another one is Carpathia, uh, got acquire, acquired by um, QTS, who's also a vendor here. So I know in speaking with them, it was a factor in consideration in their valuation. Now, is it a factor because you've got the acquiring companies are also uh, eligible or because they're looking to become so? So, for example, QTS uh, was pursuing the FedRAMP authorization, but they haven't passed that bar just yet. So um, it'd be in the part of the decision process, since Carpathia has already has passed that bar. Um, it's a good way for them to integrate and get a quick jump into the federal market where they have a quite a bit of presence. We've talked a lot about uh, federal, federal uh, government utilization of cloud. What's the situation with, uh, with small, with state and local governments? Well, state and local is very interesting. Even though the, the legislation that requires FedRAMP is called Federal Information Security Management Act. Even though the states and local government agencies aren't required to comply with that, there are a lot of voluntary compliance by lots of different states. And another factor to consider is that if they're acquiring federal dollars or grant money and such, um, they by default are required to pass, um, accept that regulation as their own requirement. So they are, some are voluntarily accepting that as their standard. 
So effectively, FedRAMP authorization extends uh, the opportunity far beyond the federal organization to state and local as well. Absolutely, absolutely. Think of it as um, if you are operating a healthcare exchange, for example, that are operating in the cloud, um, so every state may be required to pass that same level of rigor in their accreditation process. Do you also help uh, help the cloud organizations, the cloud providers, with uh, compliance issues? Absolutely. Um, the challenge these days is there are so many different standards to pass through. There's HIPAA, high tech, ISO. So there are cloud providers that are what we call chasing the badge to get many certifications as possible. And the most important thing that's happening these days, how do they perform all these certifications, achieve these certifications in the most optimal way, um, in a cost efficient way? So we are helping clients analyze all the industry requirements developing a process and a compliance program such that uh, they can have required certifications while minimizing the costs that are associated with these certifications. Overall, Nick, do you, do you foresee uh, government uptake of cloud services continuing? Absolutely. Uh, what is required in the federal market is competition. So since the bar has been so high, there hasn't been any, there been, has not been as many that's been approved to sell to the federal market. And you can't have effective competition without complementary services and competing services in that space. So there is a quite a bit of push to get more service providers approved for that service. So I could only see this um, requirement and providers getting into the game and being approved in a more timely fashion. Excellent. Uh, Nick, thanks so much for joining us here at Cloud Expo. Appreciate it. Thanks for your time.